with the paper number five. So to introduce our next speaker for the day, we now request Mr. Raj Mohan, IAF uh, Chennai Chapter Council member to introduce our speaker, Mr. T.S. Rao to the gathering, please. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce Mr. Srinivasa Rao, commonly known as T.S. Rao, to the audience here. He completed his diploma in draftsmanship and design. He holds a master degree in public personal management and an MBA in TQM. He is a certified leader auditor for almost all the certifications, including PED. He is a Del Carnegie trained leader and holds a Lean Sigma, Six Sigma black belt. He carries 30 years, 36 years of foundry experience in all processes, including sand, centrifugal, GDC, lost wax, lost foam, and rep replicast, and all materials, including iron, steel, and copper alloys, with hands-on experience in new product development. He has a 20 years of work experience in Hinduja Foundry Hyderabad, and one year in Hindustan Motors Kolkata, two years in Dakshin Foundry Bangalore, one year in Pity Castings Hyderabad, and 12 years in Armstrong Fluid Technology Bangalore. Recently, he joined Madras Engineering as a Chief Operating Op Officer. We welcome you, sir, for delivering your presentation to the gathering. Good afternoon, Foundry Fraternity. I think I joined at the wrong time. I think we had a IAF arranged a nice launch. It's hard for us to keep you awake, <laughs> keep you focused. So I joined at the wrong time, but uh, I do my level best uh, to ensure that uh, you are focusing on the subject. And also, I added some videos to ensure that uh, you are attentive. So I formally welcome you to the Foundry presentation, the resilience leadership in the Foundry industry. Whatever the slides I'm going to show here are based on my 36 years of experience in the Foundry industry. Um, I, you know, the, the, the leadership in the Foundry, which is different from, yeah, that would be yeah. So, yeah. See, the, the leadership in the foundry is certainly different from the industries, other industries, because in the foundry, it's, it's like, it's, it's in between. Like the generation we are in, we are in between from the tribal knowledge to the science. Like earlier, we were thinking like the foundry industry, the foundry business is an art. Now, we are realizing that foundry industry is a science. So, the generation we are in, in between from the tribal knowledge to the science. But still, the lot of processes in the foundry, particularly the contraction or the gating design or the metallurgy, are still is in the minds of the people. So it's it's so sorry. So that's why I prepared some slides, uh, including some videos, uh, um, to see to whatever I know in the, the leadership, what I have practiced uh, over 36 years in the foundry, and I wanted to share my knowledge uh, with you all. So you know the leaders uh, doesn't create followers, they create more leaders. As a leader in the industry, it is our responsibility to develop more and more leaders, not the followers. So then only we, the industry where we are in, it is our responsibility to ensure that the new generation are attracted to work in the foundry industry, then only the foundry industry in India will survive in the future. So they, in every industry, you would find people like, uh, you find a leader and you find a boss. So the simple, like we have description, but the, simply the, always the leader say, let's go. The boss say, go. So I have a short video, it demonstrates like how the leader So focus on de team development. As, as a leader, as a leader, it is our responsibility to focus on the team development. Like we need to, it is our responsibility, as I said, it is our responsibility to develop our members. And also the constructive criticism always helps for the followers to learn. Early, so the bridge 
between the followers and the top management. The leaders are always expected to work as a bridge so that the, the employees can reach to the top management, whereas the top management can reach the employees. So always, what happens is when you work together, we always enjoy together. So alone, if we have any success that we cannot enjoy alone, like always we need a team to enjoy. Even when you fail, we need a team to share your, uh, the sadness. So it's, uh, they say like coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a progress, or working together is a success. As Henry Ford said, is the right wording that we need to follow. And also as a team, as a, as a leader, we also should know what is our soft. We should leverage our strength to overcome the weakness. And also we need to leverage the opportunities to mitigate the threat. So every leader in the industry should know what is their soft analysis and overcome the weakness and the threat. And they communicate effectively. The communication of the leader is very, very important. The way we communicate, it depends. We need to tailor the message. It depends on the audience. Like the best way of communicating is the ants. If you see the ants, whenever they see a, a piece of sugar cane or a piece of joggery, how they communicate? They don't spend, they don't give lamba choda big messages. They don't communicate in length. They just, just in a second, they touch each other. The communication is over. They exactly convey the message saying that what is the content there, what is the volume of content, how far it is there, how many people required to carry. That is how the ants communicate. Uh, similarly, the leader, we need to communicate in the same way, like crisp and clear communication. So that's very, very important. And I don't know how I get the video. Are you? Better. So this is uh, the one way of the communication. If the communication is not proper, the, this lead to a lot of you no know, confusion. <coughs> yeah. A yeah, short video on. Oh. Uh, it's not the real. Something is in the kitchen. The people in the dining hall. What they hear is totally different. That's a... happens in most of the times like what we hear and what what is really happening could be. Uh, is going to be could that lead to that. you stay here you be a good boy you not sit there I'll just stand while you eat. Sit down with your hands on or off. You, you, you talk us into it. Did you hear anything? Yeah, I did. Yes. Sit down and eat. 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 Uh, 
I killed it. <laughs> so you are the perpetrator of this. Sit down and eat. So this is how the... So this all happens uh, because of the communication error. So in, it, it so happens in any industry that people work in silos. So this is more important that we need to break the silos. So we know how the various ways the people work, they don't believe, particularly in the founder industry. I don't know, maybe because of uh, the legacy practices, people like to work in silos, particularly in product development or some parts of the production department, they work in silos. And they think like the knowledge what they know doesn't, others will not be knowing what they are doing. They still feel like the, some practices in the foundry are secret that cannot be shared with others. And uh, the ownership. So leaders, as a leaders, we need to assume the, the ownership. Then only we will be able to drive the team. Then only we will be able to influence our team towards meeting the targets. Not sure whether I can get this video done. I'll, I'll start from the... Oh, it's for the leaders. The leaders always stand as a role model to ensure that the whole team are passing, are passing the road without any accidents. That is how the leader is expected to stand for the team. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm unable to synchronize my presentation and the videos. This is how it works. I'll go back to the presentation. So time wasters, so as a leaders, uh, so we are expected to focus on the time. So like we know, in the most of the cases, like, like we know the great minds discuss the ideas, the average mind discuss the events, and small minds discuss the people. I think in the most of the cases we see in the industry, the people talk about the people. No, that's, that's not expected out of the leaders. The leaders are expected to work on ideas. Then only we'll be able to improve the process. And this is, don't shrink. The, anything we exile from our body, either it is uh, the saliva or uh, mm, the spit uh, or uh, the storm, whatever we exile from the body, it will stink. The only, the control we have on what we speak, so we should not stink. The way we speak, we should speak politely, where we can spread the fragrance, we can spread the positive vibrance along with the people, where we have control. So the emotional intelligence is called as Sita Prajna. So as a leader, we should have a Sita Prajna. Sita Prajna is a Sanskrit word where the leaders are expected to be balanced. They should not be jumping when they achieve something. They will not be sinking when they fail something. Always they need to maintain the balance, whereby the followers can also learn from the leaders how to become a Sita Prajna. And it is important to be honest and to be transparent because as a leaders, we stand as a role models where others will follow. And always you need to possess the problem solving techniques. And all the advices should be backed up by our past data or by the experience. And ask the right questions, provide multiple solutions to try. And we have to be active listener before give any clarity. And the honor commitment, this is very, very important. What happens is, we always commit, like say from 1st of Jan 2022 or 2023, I will be starting, I will be going to gym, I will be exercising at least 30 minutes a day, or we will have our own targets. And most of the cases, we betray our own commitments. So that is, uh, honoring commitment is one of the very, very important character of the leader. So one of the example, like, you know, whenever the beggar comes, we say, you come back. That means we are promising a beggar that when he comes back, we are going to give him something. When the beggar comes back, it is our responsibility to honor the commitment to give something to him. So we should be very careful 
Given the commitment, once we give commit, we need to honor the commitment to be a true lay down. And you are the assessed of the employer. We deserve this position because we are a leader, we are expected to deliver what is expected out of us. Our presence or absence should make something to someone in the organization, then only we'll be a true leaders. Work less and do more, so we should know the smart way of doing. Uh, I don't know whether I can get the... to them will get the, the rewards like this. This happens in some of the industries. As a leader, we should know what's really happening in the shop floor. Respect others. So we need to respect as a human. We need to treat every employee in the organization as a human. The baseline is we are human. We should treat everyone equal. Then only we expect the respect. So this is very, very important character of a leader. And we are the tone of our company culture. Suppose if uh, I meet somebody, friends here, I say I represent Madras Engineering. So the people, many people would have not seen where the Madras Engineering is. The way I speak, the way I interact, they think like the Madras Engineering is a decent company. The people working for Madras Engineering are uh, decent people and then they know how to speak. So we are representing our own organization and hence it is our responsibility to spread the message to the team. And uh, personal development is very, very important for the leader, self-reflection. And we need to attend the conferences like this, like we had a wonderful events right from the morning. We learned, so the way the leaders, they're expected to learn every day by collaboration and networking. Encourage strategic thinking. So we are expected to encourage the people for the strategic thinking. As long as we are thinking conventionally, we end up with conventional results. Unless you think out of the box, we will not be able to achieve the results which are beyond our imagination. Not sure again if I can get this video. I'll start. So most of us, uh, we do this. Most of us, even in the shop floor, when you are walking, even there are obstacles, we try to jump. So it happens in most of the industries. We don't think out of the box. So there is a smart, guys. So the leaders are expected to be smart and then think out of the box. And you have to be active listener. So if you don't listen, if you don't, if you are not open for the feedback, that is the end of your learning, that is the end of your career. We are expected to be listening, and you are expected to talk to the people and ask for the feedback, so that the constructive feedback is always good for you to grow further. Delegate empowerment is very, very important. We can't do anything as a leader. We are expected to do a lot of other activities which top management expects, 
unless you delegate the authorities to the team, we will not be able to do what is expected out of us. accountability so as a leader we need to assume the accountability not only the roles not only responsibilities not only authority the accountability is very very important for the leaders so this is a very good video uh, some of you would have certainly seen this this is a very popular uh, video so this happens in every industry in every industry in every industry The company name is Struggle and Company Incorporation. See how the industry operates in an organization. Is the leader? deep passion to the work i i think i find some 
video which is related to foundry yeah, yeah. so how deeply yeah, yeah. 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 So, we should have a deep passion towards our work, then only we will be able to achieve what is expected out of us. You should be visionary. Normally, the standard says the worker who is working on the machine, who is expected to plan for a ship, the supervisor who is expected to work for a week, the manager, the department manager is expected to plan for a month, and the senior managers are expected to plan the activities for the year as part of the budget. And as a leaders, we are expected to plan at least for next five years. We should know, as a visionary leader, we should know what is going to happen to found the industry in the next five years what the West, the foundry industries in the West are doing, what are the various processes, how effectively or how the green castings are being produced in other regions of the world, how various processes like last form, replicas, Hitchner process, like a lot of processes, gravity die casting process. So it is our responsibility to be visionary and find out what's in the store, what can happen in the, in the future. And we need to care about others. That's very, very important. We are expected to take care of our team. Probably I think I have. Stay up to date. So we need to, as a leaders, we are expected to be up to date, like presenting, like participating in event like this. So we will be getting the knowledge up to date. We have to be adaptable as a leaders. We should be adaptable to the technology. We should be adapt adaptable to the new culture, wherever we are in. And we have to be open-minded. We should be open for criticism, positive criticism. Then only we will be able to learn and we will be able to impact the changes and we should be stay connected so always we should never lose the connections always we should get connected foundry fraternity when you meet at least four or five of the friends you would have worked together in the past including me today so we should not stop learning learning is an ongoing process every day at least one subject one point you should learn and uh, first or last so we should know where we have to be first as a leaders, where you have to be last. Same way, do or less or more in a team. Probably I can see some video. If it is interesting, we will short video. See how team works. If you are together, everyone can cross a bridge without any hurdles. Be always fit. So always, you have to be fit. If you are not fit, we are gone. So this is a very interesting slide, like you would have seen all these 
the, the symbols, like one is the Wi-Fi symbol, where it spreads the positive signals. The next one is ultrasound. Ultrasound spreads the negative signals. And the radiography spreads more dangerous signals. As a leader, when you are passing, we should spread the joy. We should spread the positive vibrance along with us. So we should not give up. Very short video, probably. <laughs>